What's up guys? Welcome to Grease Lightning Reactions. We're here for Kuzno Honkai Scum's Wish. Wish? Was it Scum's Wish? Scum of something. Uh, here we go. From the five second mark. Three, two, one. Oh wow. Straight into this, huh? Oh, oh damn. Flashback. Alright. Alright. Mega no can you even see her anymore? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do sometimes question how much of this is necessary for this show to be good, like in terms of themes and like, you know, how we feel for the characters. I don't know how much of it is. You know, I feel like they'll step over it, but I mean, it's okay with me, but I'm just saying, robbing me of everything. You weren't going to get that anyway. Just play with people's emotions. Damn. Yeah, I don't... Ew. That was probably his first time, too. I mean... She is pretty hot. But, yeah, I get it. I'm just saying. Um, it's my first time... Like, this... I, I, I just don't think there's any way that they're gonna get together. I mean, honestly, like, I mean, it's all great that she's shooting for her, like, one true love, like, fairy tale, really. Um, and it's kind of cool that she's hanging on to that, even at this current age, because I usually, at this point, you kind of, you know, it's it's a childhood love interest. Usually, I don't, I don't know how many people, like, you know, I, I'm sure there's, like, high school sweethearts and all that stuff but usually you don't see the people that are from a really young age end up together like you know they they end up more being the best friend figures rather than you know love interests by this age so that that's really unique in this situation um i can't even moogie's freaking oh my god i can't even no not even for no no, not even for one second can I sympathize with them. Hell no. Hell no. You or some of you guys might but hell no. You know that she does she's using people and she's with men all the time. I'm sorry. I I personally cannot sympathize with that. I would have moved on ages ago. Wouldn't believe how much. What? Vengeance, huh? How are you gonna do that? You're not gonna get them from her anyway. Honestly. What's with that look? Holy shit. This is the worst kind of competition. Exactly, you tell her. Yeah. No, yeah, exactly. You're just going to hate yourself more. She's got a pretty rancid personality herself, but not to that degree. Not to the point, I mean, she's nice to some people, of course, and she's, you know, she has a good friend of hers. Maybe it's not personality, it's just their ideals that I don't agree with. Oh, damn. Yeah. We saw that scene too already, right?
Do you guys sympathize for anyone in this show aside from her? Um, and uh, the brother figure? For being ignorant, basically? She genuinely loves you. Friend, yes. <laughs> what are you going to do? Just use me. She wants to use her back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Them tears again. She's going to show you. Yeah, I knew it. Not this time. Well, that was easy. Way easier than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah. I forgot that whole damn. Oh, I'm not 100% with her either. She kept going and even when Hanabi was crying. Yeah. Ooh. She wasn't going to do anything in the first place. I won't, what? Let you go? Oh, shit. What is she going to do? Oh. Uh. I guess she's a normal girl in uh, school, too. It's just their private life's messed up. Can, can you guys that were making the case this is normal still make that case? Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> Please. <laughs> if you can't explain your reasoning. Oh, man, dude. Ugh. Oh, shizzle. No, I don't know about that. She's probably going to grab your hand. Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that that, that that was my next guess of what she was going to do. Honestly. Oh, shit. She... <laughs> if that were me, I'd get up and go grab a different book. Dick. This is, I, I, am ah, uh, ah, uh. <laughs> oh, she, what the hell? Yeah, she felt, she was about, she was feeling bad earlier. That scene transition, though. You're about to get whatever she has. Shizzle. Does she know who it is? So attractive. Because he views her as a little sister. God damn. Your danger. Oh, really? I could agree with that. <laughs> For a guy, uh, for most guys, I know it does not take much. I'm not leaving myself out of that. So, <laughs> but for true love, not that easy. Then confess and get over it. That's what I want her to do. 
Because she's not... No! Keep your true self to you. She's never going to grow then. Keep heading down the wrong path. No. Ah, her in a way, I bet. Damn, right? The, right as soon as she wakes up? I would have been like, are you awake? Brush your teeth? Get breakfast at that breakfast table and say something. Moogie! Oh, wait, that's not him? Oh, that guy. I thought it was Moogie for a second. Oh, yeah, okay. Puppets. You can't be serious. Is this happening? Wow, he's no hesitation. No. Mm. Ah. Kind of, okay, the quintessential date day in Japan. Butterfly swimming holiday. What were you planning on? Okay. Now I'm confused. You just wanted to go on a date and see if that's what it all took? You're going to ask her about? Yeah. What is with these? They all know. And they're all dumbasses. Am I correct? Damn, that's so freaking dirty. All right. Yeah. You want to beat her at being more pathetic? Hanji? Video on the bed. Okay. Wow. Perfect bait right there. The tongue again. Forget about her. I... No, you don't. You're so empty. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Am I supposed to feel something for her? Because I really don't. Feelings or something. Uh, <laughs> completely backwards. She's 
She didn't think about anyone here. Yeah, that's what I figured, but now you're here. Yes. Someone superficial like you? Yeah, wow. What do you want, woman? You know, yeah, she'd be okay with that. She is the puppeteer. Oh, there you go. Okay, good job. At least she didn't go to the freaking point of no return so far. It's going to happen. A high amount of self worth. She walks away from some people. Okay. This music is really good, though. He's so happy with himself. <laughs> Just go talk to him. Get rejected and say, look at this. He's a great dude, though. That. Oh. Why is she? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I can see why she would have a crush on him when she was like a little kid. But beyond that. Uh, now what the hell is she gonna do? That's movie. He almost looks the same. Oh! Oh wait, is that... No, it's still not him? Is that... No, it is. Oh, he just realized... Nope. Somewhat. These possessive ass people. Ramp detector. Huh? Oh my god. Little Miss, uh, doesn't matter. Like, Little Miss, uh, 
worthless in this show so far? But you don't. Uh, uh. Yeah, he's not taking her seriously at all. She doesn't want pity. Oh! God, you want to see her, huh? You know, maybe, maybe it is because I'm too naive. I don't know, but literally, none of my friends, be either it be guy or girl. I can imagine being this way, you know, like to me and with my own experience, this is the furthest, furthest thing from reality I've seen. Like romance, I, I keep seeing people touting this as one of the most realistic romance shows ever. And it's like, okay, maybe the feeling of being wanted, the feeling of, like, having a love that's, you know, is, you don't get compensated back for having that affection for someone. You know, sure. But the real optics of what is happening is completely unrealistic. These people are aliens to me. I'm sure they exist. But, like I said, I think it is... A certain level of naivety within me within me and my circle that I'm a part of because um, I just don't see it this way <laughs> it's I don't know why oh my god so it frustrates me and I roll my eyes I can be pretty judgmental that is obvious but especially when I think someone is undervaluing themselves or um, is really doing something just, I feel like trashy. Like, come on. Like, how can you consider any of these people to be, like, really good people? You know, like, this, even this little princess figure. Yeah, you have a crush on this dude. You know he's going out with another girl. And then he makes, a like, a freaking sarcastic comment. Like, oh, sure, we can go on a date. Like, it's an, like, it's an immediate, like... Please leave me alone. I'm not going to say it straight to you. Expression. But you're so infatuated with someone that you'll overlook that. Same thing with Mugi and Hinabi and whatever the hell the the friends, the red haired girlfriend's name was. And freaking that the guy she was with in this episode. All of these people ha are... It pisses me off. If this was one of my friends, I'd have to sit them down in a corner, have a real legitimate talk with them. Like, what the hell are you doing with your life? I would not, like, support it in any way if something like this was happening. I mean, honestly, you don't don't have time for any of this. This isn't going to mean anything. It's not going to be something that's going to, like, develop into anything. And how superficial can you be to just want... Oh my god, I, it, 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 it honestly gives me like anxiety thinking that people are saying this is normal. Like, I don't want to believe this is normal. Maybe I'm in denial. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't want to imagine a world where there's so many people like this. To this degree, at least. I know, that, like, like, a few of these people, sure. You know, still loving someone, even though they're with someone else. Sure. 
to that degree, sure. There are people that go just to um, just have sex. It's going to happen. There are people out there like that. That's obvious. But <laughs> it's just... When you hear people vocalizing things in this way, and when you hear them talking about, oh, uh, oh, I want to get back to her, so I'm just gonna, what do they, what do they call it? Uh, I've heard a few, like, like I said, these are people that are outside of my, um, my friend circle that I've just, you know, in passing or when, whenever I'm just talking to random people. What, what do they call it? My, oh yeah, my hit list. They call it their hit list when they're like have a list of guys they want to be with or girls they want to be with. Um, they're like, oh yeah, I, I checked another one off my hit list, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I don't know, I don't know. This this show just gets me freaking riled up. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna end it there. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this though. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.